All right, folks, I'm starting this episode off just where I left the last one off. We're still up near the old Devil's Elbow and we've not even made it back to the car. Channel DJ has spotted a fascinating ancient historical wonder here. Look at this. This old stone here has got bits cut out of it. Look at that. So the rock here has been sheared in two. Potentially by them like drilling some sort of old fashioned type of hole. Look at that stone. Look at that, it's like silver. There's like a yeah, silver ore silver in there. there yeah. Wow, that's got some crazy silver, silvery looking seams through it with quartz. But also, look at the more interesting thing is how like they've drilled that massive hole. Yeah, that's crazy. Considering I think this stone's been on the hill here for a long time. A long, long time, folks. Like that could be some ancient, like ancient history. The bit that's been taken off of there is probably somewhere like built into somebody's like house or castle. So this isn't a quarry, I don't think, like. Anyway, folks, on to the next thing in this video. Yeah, the core samples. Look at this, folks. We found another historical hole here. Look, it's been drilled right in there. Right in the middle of the stone. I think they've been trying to split the stone at one time like that. So interesting, like that. I don't even know how long ago that would be. Maybe this stone's just been dumped down here, though, when they were doing the road. But it is crazy to find an ancient stone with a hole like drilled in it. All right, folks, welcome to the second part of this exciting video. I'm now on my own. I don't have the channel DJ with me anymore. But because I'd only recorded half a video, I thought, well, come and look at this ancient historical wonder, folks. First time I've ever even, like, recorded this on my channel. But every time I drive past on the road, I notice it. And basically what we're away to see is one of the many mysterious standing stones which is scattered across the whole of Scotland. And nobody's actually quite sure what they represent or why they were there to mark the area that they're at. Some people actually believe that it's a marker for a global energy grid, which is like, there's a lot of different theories, folks, a lot of different suggestions. But literally, like, this is an absolutely massive standing stone. Other people think that these standing stones, it's like all across Scotland, they're also connected with, like, the famous stone circle down at England called Stonehenge. And apparently up at the top of Scotland, in like Orkney and that, they reckon that they've found an even older stone circle. So it could be from a time before we would like, we wouldn't even understand the culture and stuff, you know, back then. The beliefs and stuff like that. This field hasn't been sown yet, we see, it's just literally earth. It's been ploughed. So I'm going to just walk over the earth here and here we look at the the stone. I'll have a close-up look, folks. Look at this. This is incredible. This is a massive stone. Wow, and look at this view over behind it. This is the Stracathro area that this stone's at. Whoa. What an incredible stone. Look at it, folks. So yeah, these crazy stones, like this one actually looks like it may be different to the other standing stones that I've seen around. A lot of the time it's like one massive solid stone. Wow, what a view over the back of these hills here. What a massive, massive stone this is. I wonder what this is like marking or signifying. There we go though folks, something totally different on the channel once again. We've never looked at this before and it's like... Wow. It's like so many questions. What does it signify folks? What does it mean? If there is an ancient energy field here, you can't... You can't feel it. Or I can't anyway. Maybe if I had thousand rods or something, you would pick up on it. But there we go folks. 
an ancient standing stone. A quick little visit, a quick little walk around. I would probably call that like the Stracathro standing stone because this is in the Stracathro area of Angus. But yeah, if anyone knows more information on that, it's like it's right there, folks. Get in the comments if you know anything about it. I'm gonna actually probably visit more standing stones and stuff like that pretty soon because they're honestly like all over the place and it is interesting to imagine like what they might have been. But that one is crazy how it's so tall but it's able to stand up on its end like that, balanced. Again, it's a massive stone, probably more than a ton, maybe two tons or more. Incredible folks. Anyway, that's been something a bit different again. A few different places in this video. But I'll end it here. I'll be back very soon with the next one. Thanks very much for watching. We'll see you very soon.